Moving on for now, air pollution is a major and pressing public health threat. An astonishing 99% of the world's population breathing polluted air that exceeds internationally approved limits. And the negative health impacts are kicking in at much lower levels than previously thought. And now there is fresh research which suggests that air pollution could be causing us to lose our sense of smell. Our next report getting you the complete story. The menace of air pollution has been dominating headlines and making its presence felt in different parts of the world. It impacts economies and people's quality of life. Fine particulate matter is a source of health risks. These small particles can penetrate deep into the lungs, enter the bloodstream and travel to organs. Exposure to high levels of particulate matter can lead to reduced lung function, respiratory infections and aggravated asthma from short-term exposure. Long-term or chronic exposure to fine particulate matter increases a person's risk for diseases with a longer onset like stroke and cancer. But air pollution is also contributing to the loss of smell, known as anosmia. Researchers at John Hopkins School of Medicine found significantly higher levels of PM2.5 in neighborhoods where people with anosmia lived. But how exactly is air pollution damaging our sense of smell? Researchers say there are two potential routes. One explanation is that some of the pollution particles are passing through the olfactory bulb and getting directly into the brain causing inflammation. The other explanation considers a situation where people experience a loss of smell even when pollution particles do not get into the brain. By hitting the olfactory bulb regularly, the particles may cause inflammation and damage the nerves directly, slowly wearing them away. The unique positioning of the olfactory nerve in the nasal cavity places the olfactory system at particular risk from airborne pollutants. The olfactory bulb is a rounded mass of tissue that contains several types of nerve cells involved in the sense of smell. Now, there are two olfactory bulbs on the bottom side of the brain, one above each nasal cavity. The olfactory bulbs receive information about smells from the nose and send it to the brain by way of the olfactory tracts. The aroma of just baked cookies, roses in full bloom and other everyday scents make our lives richer in ways we often take for granted. Yet, when the sense of smell is lost or compromised, it is not just enjoyment of life that is affected, but also our health and safety. According to Yale Medicine, our sense of smell helps with appetite and also serves as a warning system to avoid dangers and toxins. Experts say loss of smell or anosmia may be an early warning sign for dementia and Alzheimer's disease. The loss of smell has also been linked to an increased likelihood of depression and anxiety. It also plays a role in obesity, weight loss and malnutrition. Across the world, efforts are being made to tackle the toxic air. But there is still a long way to go and more action is required to fight against air pollution. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.